convictions, no. But there's a gap between May and August 2001 when I believe he may have been living in your state. Yes, Grant Bledco. C-O-E? OK, thanks. I will. Bye. Will we start? I pulled an all-nighter. Charlie, that's crazy. You're going to burn yourself out. I didn't want to stop until I came up with something. And? I looked at unsolved rapes in the areas he lived in for the past ten years. The closest I got was an unsolved indecent assault of a young girl a few blocks from his house. But I spoke to the detective last night and he's pretty keen to follow up on Grant's details, so you never know. But nothing concrete? Look, as far as priors, DNA tags and complaints go, no. He's spotless. So maybe common sense says it's time to let it go. I'm going to catch a couple of hours sleep before my shift starts and I'll go over it again in case I've missed something. Charlie, if the guy's clean, he's clean. But the harder you look, the more upset and irrational you're going to get. I'm being totally rational. You're investigating crimes that are out of your jurisdiction. I would classify that as being irrational. He's a rapist. I know him and I know he didn't just stop with me. So don't you think I should pursue that? Don't you think someone should try and stop him? Look, I think you had every reason to start looking for a way to do so, yes. But now I think you have every reason to stop. I'll give you a call later, OK? Oh, this. I need to speak to Charlie now. First, she's not here. Second, you need your head checked. I told you to steer clear of her. To tell you the truth, I don't appreciate having to deal with you myself. Yo, I didn't appreciate being hassled by city detectives last night. Asking me questions about some girl that was assaulted I've never met in my life. If they interviewed you, maybe they had reason to believe that you were connected to the crime. I had nothing to do with it. They've already eliminated me as a suspect. Great story. How can I help you exactly? I know Charlie sent them. OK, I just want to talk to her and make sure this doesn't happen again. Like I said, she's not here. Fine. I'll look her up at home then. You go anywhere near that house, I'll slap an AVO on you so fast your head'll spin. You got it? Hey, stranger. I didn't realise you were doing a night shift last night. No, I wasn't. I just got caught up in my own work and didn't make it home. Ah, oh, well, I knew you weren't at Angelo's because he called to see whether he could pick you up this morning. Right. Yeah, that was him just trying to call again now. But I'm not in the mood for another sermon. Is everything OK? Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I just need to sit down, have some brekkie and get my brain functioning again. The orders are piling up in there. I only have two hands, you know. I must say you're looking a bit off colour. I'm just tired, Colleen. Oh, and worry too, no doubt. It can't be easy for you with young Ruby living at Irene's. It's a sad state of affairs when you two used to have such a strong bond. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? I want the harassment to stop. What harassment? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Charlie. The cops coming to my door. The cops talking to my employees. Look, I was just undoing the damage that Ruby did with my wife, and now I'm, I'm back to square one. If you've come here for an apology, you're never going to get it. Just because you're holding a crutch doesn't mean you can wreck my life. OK, I haven't done anything wrong. Don't you dare try and make me out to be the evil one here. You're the one destroying my family. They are better off without you. If I lose them, Charlie, the last bit of family that I have left is Ruby. What is that? Is that some kind of a threat? No, it's not a threat, no. It's the truth. You stay the hell away from Ruby. I'm not going anywhere. OK? I can't go home. I can't leave the bay until you come to your senses. I won't let you stay. Then let's just talk about this, OK? And move forward, please. I'm not making deals with you now or ever. You can think it. Maybe I'll just talk to Ruby then. I will kill you! Do you hear me? If you oh. don't stay away from her, I swear I will kill you! Charlie, you need to calm down. Calm down? How can I calm down when I'm worried about the safety of my daughter? Tell me that. Attacking the guy out in public like a mad woman isn't a good look, Charlie. He was in my face. What was I supposed to do? At the risk of getting my head bitten off, I've got to tell you, I am genuinely worried about what you're doing, Charlie. What? Defending my family? Using police resources for your own personal vendetta. OK, just listen to me for a second. For the record, I believe you about Grant, OK? I do, about what he did to you. Oh, you believe me. Thank you. That's not what I meant. 
Listen, you've got to start looking at this from an outsider's point of view. The guy has a wife and kids, and as far as we know, he's been a model citizen for the last 16 years. Oh, so what? I'm supposed to forget about what he did? What he did to you didn't happen a week ago, Charlie. It happened almost two decades ago. OK, I'm going to go there and say it, but people can change. Why are you looking like I've betrayed you? I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. Look, think about it. I'm not the same person I was a year ago. That's different. Is it? I did something unforgivable. Yet people are forgiving me now because they can see that I have changed. You were never malicious. What happened to Jack was an accident. I'm not implying that you forgive the guy for what he did. Good, because that is never going to happen. You can't keep pursuing him, though, Charlie. Like, he's a serial offender without any proof that he is. Where are you going? My shift's starting. Charlie, you need to call in sick for the day. Sorry for just rocking up on this, but can we talk? What do you want? I need your help. I, can't, I need you to get Charlie to back off. So I, I can't live like this. With the hounding me all the time. You know, I swear I'm a decent man, okay? And I love my family. I, I just want to get on with my life. Well, look, the trouble is, no matter what you say, Charlie was traumatised by the experience, and nothing you say is going to change that. But you believe me, though, right? W what I told you. God, I don't know what I believe. Well, at least give me the benefit of the doubt, Ruby. Just talk to your mum, OK? Just, just ask her to leave me alone. If you want to talk to Charlie, you're going to have to do it yourself. I can't be on your side. <sighs> OK. Well, at least ask her to sit down with me, just to resolve the situation. Look, if she really cares about you, she she want that as much as I do. That's very helpful. Thank you. I will. I'll let you know. Bye. I don't know what you're thinking, so you don't have to say anything. So I take it the feds didn't turn up anything either? Tax records. A search of Grant's former employees shows two young women in the past 12 months were terminated with big payouts. So? So, they were only with the company a short while. Why the big payout? Charlie, that still doesn't prove anything. You're right, Angelo. I need a break. I'm taking two days' leave effective immediately. 